Hello, I'm Joel Cedarstrom, uh, Director of Flow Cytometry at Baylor College of Medicine, and I run the Flow Cytometry Core facility. We have a very diverse group of researchers at Baylor College of Medicine. We help over 200 different researchers, PIs, and 400 different individual users in the core facility. And this ranges everywhere from cancer biology to vaccination research. Obviously, with such a diverse group of users, we have a lot of different applications that come through. So we'll do anything from just GFP and RFP expression all the way to phenotyping and advanced immunophenotyping. The Aurora gets me excited mainly because of the flexibility of fluorescence profiling. So we can do so much with floors that we may have forgotten in the past or perhaps adding to panels that are already being designed and it gives us flexibility as well as just overall ease of use so we can actually pass this on to the user and have them operate it independently. It's an incredible machine. But so far, what we've done in immune profiling and small particles, it's really exceeded its expectations. Why I like the Seafloor immune profiling kit is that it really gives me a solid recommendation for my users and a place to start. It's really easy to start off the bat with 14 colors and do a profile. And I can recommend this to my users pretty easy where they can take it and just jump on the Aurora and go as well as it offers flexibility for the future for drop-ins and changes. We're already developing the new tools like the Aurora and, and other instruments out there, but really what it comes down to is designing our panels, putting it together, and bringing it into the future for complex, advanced phenotyping. The next five to 10 years, we're gonna be dealing with the amount of data that we have from instruments such as the Aurora. With the advanced phenotyping we can do with all the markers at our disposal, We'll be working on designing panels, running those panels and analyzing those panels. And it's gonna start going into a more computer-based approaches. And hopefully with this type of, of unsupervised or limited supervised analysis, we'll be able to really answer some difficult questions. So if someone asked me if they wanted to buy an Aurora or a Northern Lights, I would ask them first to do their homework. I would suggest making sure that the instrument is right for them and their assays. But it's a very flexible instrument, and it's a lot of instrument. It's easy to train, but it's still that. It's a highly technical piece of equipment. So know what your assays are, what you plan to do with it. It is a really amazing piece of equipment that is what I would be considering changing um, how we look at and view cytometry. So it will bring most investigators into the future with them. Mm -hmm.